So if this bacon looks old and rancid, it's because it is. I travel a lot for work. I can't always keep up on the fucking bacon. Like, I'm trying to make the bacon, and the bacon that I'm <laughs> making is maybe old and rancid, but I lived in Asia, right? I am my, I am solid steel gut, like swallow my vomit in a cab strong. Like, I think this bacon will be okay. And it doesn't smell terrible, so it's probably all right. I'm Allison, and you are in Beerland. Milling is a very important part of the brewing process. There are several types of mills used in the brewing of beer, including roller mills, hammer mills, and wet mills. Milling malted barley should be done in a manner that provides access to the starches inside the endosperm and allows for liquid flow through the mash. When milling the grains, it is important to crush them just right. Over milling can lead to stuck mashes and astringent final products. Under milling can lead to lower gravities and decreased mash efficiency. There is a balance somewhere in between as sure as there should be a glass of beer in your hand right now. The distribution of the milled grains can be measured using a series of mesh screens called sieves. The grain is passed through the sieves and the resulting fractions are weighed. The distribution percentage is calculated. Grist hoppers can be used in conjunction with mills and auger systems for the addition of grains such as rice and oats that don't require milling. I think what's most important uh, when talking about milling in the brewing process is um, how important it is that you get it just right, right? Like there is a balance there. Like you crush it too much and you have a stuck mash, you don't crush it enough and you're sending excess sugars into the trash with your grain. So it really is about achieving balance in terms of properly milling your grains in the brewery. And this finding this balance and achieving this balance is what will lead to the highest product quality. So cheers brewers. Ah!